This right here is the EcoFlow River 2 Pro portable power station. It's one of my personal favorites. It's actually a step up from the River 2. It's really compact and lightweight. So I want to show you guys all the features that this thing has. I'll show you guys what this thing can power and then I'll give you guys my honest review at the end. So let's get in the video. So first off, I just want to say that this battery right here is a lithium iron phosphate battery. So it's got a really good battery composition. It's going to be able to last a long time, about 3000 plus battery life cycles, which is awesome because you could use this thing every day and essentially it's going to be able to last longer than a decade. And that's just to degrade it down to 80%. It'll actually last a lot longer than that. One thing that's really nice about this battery is it has a battery capacity of 768 watts. So it's big enough to where it's going to be able to power a lot of your basic items in the house, but it's small enough and portable enough that you can take it with you on the go for camping or just to have in case of a power outage. On the front side, as you can see, you have four three prong AC outlets, which is super nice because you can just power a lot of things with this. As far as the AC output goes, it has a max output of 800 watts, but it has a surge or X boost technology, which is what EcoFlow calls it, up to 1600 watts, which we'll actually go over here in a little bit. And essentially what it does is it allows you to be able to power those devices that, that usually use more than 800 watts and allows you to power that at a little bit lower capacity than normal. And then up here, you have a 12 volt DC charger. You have three USB A's all with a 12 watt output. And then you have a 100 watt USB-C, which is really nice because you can fast charge and you can charge your laptop, tablet, phone at much faster speeds with the 100 watt output. To turn on the power station, you have your power button right here and you just click it once to turn it on. And as you can see, you have your battery level percentage. Right now it's at 97%. You have how long you have of charging. Right now it says 99 hours because nothing's plugged in. And then you have your input and your output wattage right here. And in order to use the AC power or DC power, what you have to do is you actually have to click this button. So in order to start plugging things in, you click this button. Once the light turns on, then you can start plugging things in here and it'll work. The DC power right here, you click this button. Once the light turns on, you can use the DC power as well. And because of all of these ports, you can actually charge up to 11 devices at once with the River 2 Pro. If we put this power station to the side, as you can see on one side, you have the fans to keep this thing cool. On the other side, you have another fan right here and then on the back side here's where you have all the charging ports so one thing really nice about this power station is that you can actually charge it up either with an outlet you can charge it up with your car or you can actually charge it up with solar and those are all through these inputs right here and when you get the river 2 pro it does come with the outlet charging cable right here and the car charger right here however it does not come with the solar charger because the solar panels are actually separate and as far as the AC input goes, it has a max input of 940 watts. So you can actually charge this thing up in about an hour and 10 minutes, which is nice because for a power station this big, that is very fast. 70 minutes to charge is super fast. As far as the solar panel goes, it has a max input of 220 watts. So you could plug in a 220 watt solar panel and you'd be able to charge it up in about 4.5 hours. If you were to charge it through the carport, it has a 100 watt input and it would take about nine hours of charge or you could actually charge it with the USB-C port on the front side and it'll also take about nine hours of charge. And one thing that is really nice about this as well is it does have pass-through power. So you can actually be charging this up and using it at the same time. So if you did have a solar panel plugged into here, you could actually have this thing be charging up by solar and you could be plugging in your devices on the other side and actually using this at the same time, which is just really nice because the battery capacity will actually be able to last a little bit longer. You know, you'll be able to power your devices for longer because it'll actually be charging the power station as you're using it. On the back of the River 2 Pro, you also have this really nice handle. So it's super easy to move around and carry around with you. And then on the top, you have this flat surface where you can lay your phone or other things that you're charging here on the top. All right, so now that we know a lot of the features that this thing has, I wanna show you guys what this thing can actually power. So let's put it to the test. All right, so first off, I just wanna do a really simple test, show you guys that you can power you know, a laptop, tablet, and a phone at the same time, even you know, multiple laptops if you want, and even a light right here. So first off, we have our tablet plugged in. As you can see, it is currently charging. Now we'll plug in the phone. And right now with just the tablet, it's using about 19 watts, so not very much. And now we have the phone plugged in as well. And now we have the phone plugged in as well. As you can see, it's charging and the tablet is charging right there as well. And as you can see, it's using about 25 watts. So not a ton of watts. But as you can see, it's powering both of those devices. So it's obviously not a lot of power, but as you can see, you can definitely power that. It's going to be able to power that for about 19 hours. So that's one thing that's cool is this adjusts depending on what you plug into it. It'll show you how much time is left. Right now, you can charge these things up for about 19 hours. If you were to just plug in your phone, you can charge your phone about 57 times and you could charge a laptop or a tablet about 10 times. Now I'll plug in this light just to show you guys that if you were camping and you wanted to power a lantern or a light, something like that, you could definitely do it with this power station. So I'll plug this in right here like this. I'll turn this thing on. Boom. And as you can see, it powers this light 
no problem. And now it's using about 59 watts of output. Now it's using about 58, 60 watts of output, and it's gonna be able to power all three of devices at the same time for about nine or so hours. So if you just plug in the light, it'll be longer than that. But all these together, nine hours is a long time, super solid for how compact and lightweight this thing is. And then another test I wanted to show you guys is actually with a TV. This is a 65 inch TV and it actually can power it no problem, but I just wanted to show you guys so you can see it. So I'll plug it in right here to the outlet like this. The AC power is currently turned on and I'll show you guys that it can actually power the TV for quite a long time as well. As you can see, the light just turned on. And as you can see, now the TV is actually turned on and it's powering it no problem. If you go, if you come up here close to the power station, you can see that the TV is using about 65 watts. So it doesn't use a ton of power, but you could actually run the TV, as you can see, it just adjust, adjusted for about nine or so hours. So a 65 inch TV for about nine hours, pretty good in my opinion, it's pretty good. If you had a smaller TV, it's probably gonna use less power so you could run it for longer. But with a 65 inch TV, nine hours is pretty solid. All right, so now for a little bit bigger test, I wanted to show you guys a refrigerator. Can the River 2 Pro power a refrigerator? So we're gonna see. So we got a three prong outlet right here from our fridge. Plug it in like this. And the refrigerator takes a second to kick on. As you can see, it's on now. All right, so the refrigerator took a second to kick on, but as you can see, the refrigerator is on now. Usually your refrigerator needs, needs a little bit of boost at the beginning to start. And as you can see, it absolutely can power it. Right now it's using about 102 watts. So if we put the camera closer right here, you can see it's about 100 watts or so. And you're gonna be able to power a refrigerator for about five hours. So here it is right here, so you guys can see. Got the fridge, it's plugged in. And you're gonna be able to run it for five hours. Pretty awesome for a small power station like this. So if you did have a power outage for multiple hours, you could power your refrigerator for five hours, which is really awesome to know if you did have one. And then for one more test, I wanted to show you guys this Panini Maker, which actually uses about, I think it's like 1,000 or 1,200 watts, something like that. So it's over the max capacity of 800 watts. So it's gonna be able to kick in that X-Boost technology. And here we go, I'm gonna plug it in just so you guys can see, and we'll see what happens. As you can see, it, it went up to about 1,200 watts, and now it's back down to 810 watts. So as you can see, a panini maker, it actually works. The light's on, it's working, the heat's coming out. One thing that's a little bit different between the X-Boost technology and like surge technology is surge, what usually happens like on most power stations is if it has a surge of like 1600 watts, it'll be able to power a device at the beginning for like 1600 watts and then it'll shut off. So basically it'll, it'll allow you to get that like initial boost of energy up. So essentially if you had a device that needs that extra kick of energy, but then it goes down again, um, you know, that's what surge is going to allow you to do, but it's not going to go for very long if it stays up to that high capacity. Whereas this one right here with X-Boost technology, what it does is it actually lowers the voltage and it allows you to still be able to power the device at 800 watts. So as you can see right now, it's actually only using 803 watts. So basically the max capacity, um, but the device is still running. So you're still going to be able to use the device for a longer period of time. You're still going to be able to use the device basically like normal, except the device is just going to have a little bit less power. So this, so this Panini Maker, for example, it's probably it's going to take a little bit longer to get hot than if it was just plugged into a regular outlet because it's only using 800 watts. So that's just something to keep in mind. You know, if you're plugging in a microwave or something like that, per se, you know, the microwave is going to take longer to heat your your food or whatever you're 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 doing, right? So it's still going to work. It's just going to have a little bit less power, but you're still going to be able to power that device. So that's something that's really cool about the River 2 Pro, the surge or the X-Boost technologies that you're able to power devices more, you know, that use more power than 800 watts, but you're actually about to use it for a little bit longer period of time rather than just like a surge, which is nice. All right, and then lastly, I just wanted to show you guys that this could actually power an e-bike as well. So if you did have an e-bike, if you were going camping or if you were on an RV and you had an e-bike with you and you wanted to charge it up, you can actually, as you can see right now, it's plugged in and you can actually charge an e-bike it's pulling about eight, I mean, it's pulling about 186 watts. So, you know, it's gonna take a pretty long time to charge depending on what your battery capacity is of the battery, right? This one's like a 700 watt battery. So it's gonna take about, you know, five or so hours. So, you know, it depends on what you're gonna charge. You know, right now it's at 90% capacity. So you got three hours to charge. So it's probably not gonna get it to 100%, but it just depends on what e-bike you have and how big of a battery you have. But this e-bike's a big one. It's got like a 700 watt battery. So essentially you're gonna be able to charge it almost to 100% or depending on you know what 
battery your e-bike has, you're gonna be able to charge your e-bike up, which is really cool for a power station like this as well. So overall, as far as my honest review goes, this thing is awesome. It's probably my favorite power station from EcoFlow just because it's so lightweight and compact but it has you know, four outlets on the front. You can power a lot of different things. And because it has that max output of 800 watts, you're gonna be able to power a lot of your basic items, but it's also compact enough where you can take it with you camping and things like that. So I love this power station. It's awesome. If you guys are looking for a portable power station that actually is portable, you know, it's lightweight that you can take with you on the go, but can also power a lot of devices, I would definitely recommend checking this out.